Hey, what they do, what they do, you too. Check this out, man. Before we even get started, let me do this thing right. You got a love morning prison, about to go to prison, state of federal, send them a copy of Street Elements magazine. We're the number one magazine publication in the nation for 16 years, hands down. All right? Remember, if you got a loved one in prison, send them a copy of Street Elements magazine. We're going to keep these guys educated, entertained, and hopefully we can get their mind right. You know, I got good content inside of here. I got articles in here like three tips how to stay out of prison, um, real estate, investing, um, stuff dealing with depression, anything that you possibly can need, I put it inside these magazines. So when these guys in there doing their time, they can read and they can educate themselves and they can come out here a better person. Now, you know I got to put them cheeks in there because them guys want to see them cheeks. So I got to keep them babies in there for them. They got to have them babies in there because if not, they ain't going to want to pick it up. So it is what it is. Also, man, if you get the opportunity, go purchase my homeboy Cavario book, Raised by Wolves. It's a great book. Go ahead and check that out, Cavario. You know, he was one of the ones, the founders of Don Diva Magazine, so go pick up his book. What they do, man, this is another episode, or me saying again, the game is set up for us to lose, not for us to win. The game is set up for us to lose, not for us to win. Now, you got this situation right here that I'm going to play. Let me go ahead and play this. Trial that lasted more than three months. A jury convicted six men for the murder of rapper FBG Duck. FBG Duck, whose real name is Carlton Weekly, was shot and killed while shopping in the Gold Coast back in August 2020. Feds tied that shooting to a brutal Southside gang war, stoked in part on social media and through rap diss tracks. Today, Weekly's mother thanked prosecutors for bringing her son's killers to justice. I just want to thank the United States government for doing a very good job on making sure that these guys would never hurt another mom or another child again. The defense will likely appeal today's convictions. Sentencing dates are set for August and September. Okay. Once again... The game is set up for us to lose, bro, not to win. So you got Duck lost his life. They won. The system won. They got one black man off the streets or one person in the inner city off the streets. He did. Then you got six more they got on a verdict, on a guilty plea. So they got seven, seven, let me, five, six, seven. They got seven individuals. Off the streets, gone forever. Who won at the end of the day? Did old block win? Or did, did duck them people win? Who won? The system won. That's who won? The system. The system on a regular basis is winning. They putting us against each other to kill one another and to take us off the street. We've been our own slave catchers right now. We're our own worst downfall right now. And ain't nobody thinking about the long-term effect of your actions. I know I wasn't when I was out there in the street selling drugs. I wasn't thinking about the long-term effect of my action or what it possibly could, could happen if I get caught with five bricks of crack or two bricks of crack or half a key with or half a key of crack with a pistol. I didn't, I didn't think about my actions until later on as I got older, I started realizing that I'm playing with my life. So you got these guys in Chicago, this long-term beef they got going on. And at the end of the day, I want you guys in Chicago, I want you to ask yourself, who went in the war? Who went in the war? Is it old block or your ops? Who went in the war, man? It looks to me, the government is winning the war. The system is winning the war. It ain't us. We being victims of the war because we ain't sharp enough to understand what's going on. Then I turned y'all against one another. And at the end of the day, how much money did y'all make? 
How much money did y'all make to go handle, handle this business that y'all standing on? How much of that money trickled down to your family that they can make sure they can take care, continue to take care of themselves if life goes on? Because right now, you got one of them dead, which is duck, and you got six of y'all going to be found guilty, got found guilty in a federal courtroom. They offer you a plea of 50 years. That's your plea. You 20-something years old now, 20 to 30, y'all in the, the late 20s, mid-20s, up to your early 30s right now, and they offer y'all a 50-year plea. That means when you get out, man, you're done in 65. 65. You don't went in and looking at 65 to do Dennis, to then to do 50 years on a plea. That means when you get out, man, you're gonna be one of them niggas at the goddamn corner, fucked up, ain't got nowhere to live, nowhere to stay, you ain't got no money. They done took everything away from you from a decision that maybe only took 30 seconds for you to make. Hopping out that car, pulling that trigger. Boom, 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 boom. And they get all y'all and put y'all up, 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 up lock y'all, all, all y'all up. Is it worth it, homie? Is it really worth it? I mean, at the time, it may seem like it's worth it. At the time, yeah, I'm going to kill this nigga, man. Fuck that shit. They got six of y'all when they go do this now. Then y'all go hit the lick. Now all y'all in locked up. All y'all locked up right now. Is it worth it? Like I always tell guys, man, is the lick worth the time you fun to get? I'm going to say it again. Is the lick you fun to hit worth the time you're going to get? Do the math. Do the math. Yeah, I understand when we young, we warriors, we don't care. We don't mind doing it because we ain't thinking properly. I got a homie right now that's been locked up since he was 20. They gave him seven life sentences for a decision that cost him his life right now. And he fighting like hell to get out. But he was 20 years old. When I speak to him now, that's not the same 20 year old that got locked up. Time done went by. He been going now 30 years. He 50. He left the streets when he 20, he 50. These guys leave in the streets when they 20s and they early 30s. They might don't make it out. If they got kids, if they got family, they might don't make it out. They might don't never see them again in their life out here in the free world. The only time they may see them is behind them damn bars. Now you tell me, is it worth it? You tell me that lifestyle shit really worth it. Now, I can't tell y'all what to do because I did my thing when I was out there. I can't tell you how to move. I can give you some advice. I can tell you again, it's the work, it's the lick you're about to hit worth the time you finna get. That's all I'm gonna say. Look at this. Let me do, let's do some math. It's 2024. These guys wanna get locked up, and let's say they do 30 years in prison. Let's say they do 40 years in prison, because the way it's looking now, they might get life. So let's say they do 40 years in prison. We're going to take, let's say they were making $15 an hour. Petty, petty, petty money out here in the streets. $15 an hour times, let's say they were hard worker. They worked 48 hours a week. They mean they came up with $720 a week. See, $720 a week. We're going to times that times 52 because it's 52 weeks in a year. Basically, they were making $37,000 a year. If they were definitely been working a nine to five, making $15 an hour, was it worth it? Was your boy life up worth $37,000? That's one year of your time out here in the streets. So was gunning down duck or gunning down whoever Worth the 37000 for the year. Now look, times 40 years. That's $1,497,600. You mean to tell me that little... 
Yeah, fuck up. We smoking on Tuca. That was worth that? Let's divide that by three. They still would have had $499,200 they could have put up and invested and bought property or whatever for their family. Not for their homeboys, but for their family. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Because this is what they're going to miss out on. They're going to miss out on the opportunity to take care of their family behind them damn walls, behind them walls, behind them, them pearly gates they got back there, them wire gates. That's why I'm trying to tell you, bro. The streets are set up for us to lose, not to win. Think about it, man. If you out there in the streets right now and you active, think about the consequences of your actions if them people show up. If your homeboy tell on you. If your homeboy tell on you what the consequences of your actions. Is it worth it? The best thing that you can do, homie, is to stay out here free, stack up your paper, buy you some property, and get the fuck out the way. And leave that bullshit where it's at, homie. Because the system got a design to go out here and crash out. So they can lock us up. They use y'all six. And y'all don't think they use y'all, but they did use y'all. So you think the beef and, and your homeboys and whoever put the batter in your pack use y'all to go do that lick? No, man, the system used y'all. Yeah, that's who put the batter in your pack, the system. They sat back and watched y'all do this because they wanted to get all, all y'all off the streets. Now, the funny part going to be about this, this going to be the crazy part. All y'all that's got locked up, or all y'all that's facing that time with this FB, FBG duck case, all y'all from Chicago, when they put y'all ass in these federal penitentiaries, nigga that was in your hood that y'all was considering ox, that y'all was willing to die for and kill over, nigga, them gonna be your homeboys. Them gonna be one of the same, nigga, it might be one of the duck homeboys, nigga, give you a, a, a care package when you first get there. Y'all gonna be homeboys. Y'all gonna be dapping up. Y'all gonna be watching each other back. When your homie go take a shower, one of your homeboys that you were beefing with on the street might just be your homeboy. Might just be now. It's a possibility, depending on where they send you at. Then there's a possibility one of your homeboys put that knife in you. It's a possibility because when you get out there, they, all all y'all ain't going together now. I don't think they're going to send all y'all to the same space. They're going to split y'all ass up. All six of y'all going to go to a different goddamn it prison. Mo, I mean, most likely y'all going to a different prison. They don't want y'all to have no unity. They're going to split y'all ass up. May send one of y'all ass to Colorado. May send one of y'all ass to Louisiana. May send one of y'all to goddamn it, Florida. May send somebody up to goddamn it, um, Victorville, Hazleton. And then it ain't no telling where they're going to send you at, right? But when you get there and y'all meet your other homeboy from Chicago that y'all were beefing with in the past, y'all homeboys now. Y'all partners now. Why y'all can't do it on the streets? Why y'all can't be partners on the streets? Tell me that. Because the system won't allow y'all to be partners on the streets. The system won't allow y'all to be unified as a group to go out here and make this paper together. It always supposed to be about the paper, not about the violence, homie. Anytime you jump out them streets, it's supposed to be about the paper. Not about the murder game, but about the paper. They done tricked y'all boys to think it's about the murder game first and the paper second. If somebody paid y'all to do that shit, that little bit of money won't work to my nigga. For real. I feel sorry that y'all even had to go through this because it all could have been avoided. But y'all in the hands of the goddamn government and them people don't play. That's what the real true fight is. That's who your real ops are. The real ops are the ones you just went to war with and they laid your ass down for your life. Real shit. So y'all just keep in mind, man. The streets, or you want to call it the game, is set up for us to lose. Not for us to win. And that's all I'm going to say. And another thing, man, before you, if you see this video, before you go out and do some shit stupid that can cost you the rest of your goddamn life, ask yourself this question right here. 
is the lick I'm about to hit worth the time they're going to give me? If the lick you're about to go hit right now, is it worth the time they're going to give you? Because the ultimate thing to do, bro, is to be out here for a long time so you can live your life to the fullest and do the best you can while you're out here. It's going to be hard to do shit from behind the walls, but count at 4 o'clock. Wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning for early move, early child. Go to lunch around 11, 30, 12. They're going to put your ass on a goddamn routine that's going to become programmed in your head and you're going to do it every damn day for the rest of your life. Program yourself to stay free out here in the streets and to live your life out here in the streets, in the free world. That's the ultimate plan, bro. I feel sorry for all of y'all. I feel sorry for Duck and their family. And I really feel sorry for the whole Chicago for how they done trick y'all to trick y'all self off the streets. For real. And not just in Chicago, all around this motherfucking country. They trick us to trick ourselves off the streets. Make it happen on your capital.